So in here, all we really need is the dog whistle and the lighter. And then next, we're going to go immediately use that lighter, or the, um, the dog whistle. So it's really about getting the items that you need and then using them as quickly as possible just to get them out of your inventory and to kind of open up the, uh, the map so you can kind of travel around quicker. Oh shit, that was close. Once again, abusing the uh, supporting cast, getting that free ammo from Barry before I uh, brutally let him get murdered. Or let him get brutally murdered. What? Whatever. Fuck it. You know what I mean. It's fine. And uh, I'm going to try to save as little as possible during this playthrough. I probably will save a couple times because, once again, I'm rusty as fuck. And I really don't want to have to do this again. You know, dying halfway through is not exactly fun. So I'll probably save, like, once or twice. But uh, if you're using this as a guide to kind of get the achievements and stuff like that, um, there is a no saving run that'll get you an achievement. So you can kind of use this as a guide and just don't save when I save. Man, that's disgusting. There's a lady present. Get your shit together and get some Pepto. But I'm a zombie. I don't give a shit. Get your shit together. Oh. Okay. All these lock picks, like, every time I use that thing, I just think of how worthless Chris is. I mean, he has two less inventory slots, and he has to get those annoying small keys that fill up his inventory even more. I fucking hate playing as Chris. Oh, oops. I forgot I didn't have that key. We're going to have to go... A different route here. And the fake out. Yeah. I fucking hate those things. I swear, if I ever get a mansion like this size, I'm gonna set up fucking like crazy off-the-wall puzzles to unlock every door in the house. 
It's gonna be great. Everyone's gonna fucking hate me. It's gonna take you like four hours just to get to the kitchen to make a sandwich because you'll have to solve like 40 puzzles. It's gonna be good. Come on, we talked about this. But I'm still a zombie! Oh, fuck. Wrong door. <laughs> Once again, rusty. Don't judge. Another glorious defense item. I don't remember what happens if you turn the switch the wrong way. If you make it green, I think it's like a poisonous gas or some shit. I don't know. We're gonna do it the right way so it doesn't matter anyway. And I do, every once in a while I want to try to pick up some herbs, you know, just here and there. Um, just kinda combine them and put them in the item box as like a fail safe. That way if I fuck up a bunch I can kinda go back there and get healed up even though I don't have herbs on me or around me hopefully it won't come to that fingers crossed I'm gonna die I can feel it it's gonna happen Gonna run over here and get rid of this key. Free up that inventory spot. Splot? Spot. Thingy. Place where the items go. Oh shit. That's the downside to not killing the zombies, is like you'll fake past them once and then later down the road they get you and it's like a wash like that victory is just fucking taken away from you That lightning is awfully scary. Another glorious self-defense item, aka my ammunition, basically. You know, I still can't get myself to try out that new control scheme. It just, I don't know. It just, it takes the Resident Evil style, like the feel of the gameplay away. And I just, I can't bring myself to even try it. And it looks weird. Like when you run downstairs, you're like fucking all shaky and weird and shit. It just bugs me. And then I feel like it would make it too easy because you can just like instantly go any direction at any time. It's... 
I don't know, it's just not right. So if you play that way, fuck you.